hi guys welcome back to our channel and today's video is going to be about swapping out this old engine for a brand new harbor freight 212 cc engine and we also going to take out the coils so we can power our headlight so let's do it here's how this old engine runs very old motor So before we toss this engine, we're going to take it off the bike and place it on the table so we can work on it. Rumor has it that the coil swap will only work on the older style Predators, it won't work on the Hemi engines. Because they have a lot in common and Hemi was completely redesigned. So if you purchased a Hemi, there's a high chance the swap won't work. I removed the recoil pull start, removed the fan shroud, loosened up 21 millimeter nut and removed starter cup with blower fan. To remove flywheel I used rubber mallet and a screwdriver. Crankshaft on this side of the engine is tapered. So you'll have to use the force to take the flywheel off. Now that the coils are removed, let's put them on a new motor. So you basically do the same thing with this engine. Remove the recoil pull start. Remove the fan shroud. Remove pull start cup and blower fan. Do the same thing with this flywheel. Smack it hard. That'll loosen it up. This crankshaft is also tapered and it's got a keyway. There's no serial number on these charging coils but if you guys know where to find them online then drop a link in the comment section and maybe it'll help out other fellow YouTubers. I was actually surprised to see pre-made spots in the engine block for these charging coils. They fit like a glove and bolt right up to the engine. It made me wonder if the factory in China also makes similar engines with charging coils already installed. It's probably under a different name brand that starts with H. What do you guys think? There was a small gap right underneath the gas tank so I fed the wires through there. The old flywheel was dirty and rusty so I cleaned it with wire brush and some sandpaper. Now that the magneto points are nice and clean they should produce plenty of voltage to power the headlight. And now we just reassemble everything back together in reverse order. Well guys, here's the moment of truth. The entire engine's been put back together and um, I want to see if the coils produce enough energy to power the lights. I've got these, I've got this homemade light bulb to test it and uh, if everything works out great, all we're gonna have to do is throw it back on the bike and it will be ready to go. So let's test it and see if this thing works. coils work 
and let's put it back on the bike. All right, so the engine is back on the bike. There's no battery or nothing, no gimmicks, and the wire is coming out of the spot here. All right, get it started. <laughs> 